obelisk is a narrow, tall, four-sided monument. The top ends in a pyramid-like shape. In ancient times, obelisks were made from one massive rock. Modern-day obelisks are usually made from several stones and might have interior space. Rome has the most obelisks of any city in the world, many of which came from ancient Rome. True Egyptian obelisk was made from a single block of red granite or similar rock, and its pyramid on top was sheathed in gold or electrum and was about a tenth of the total height. Pharaohs usually created obelisks to celebrate their jubilee, or 30 years of rule. The obelisk is said to resemble a petrified ray of the sun. The obelisk you see now is located in St. Peter's Square. It is 83 feet high and weighs 331 tons. No one knows who built it or where it came from. We do know Augustus had it placed in the Julian Forum in Alexandria, where it stood there until 37 CE when Caligula moved it to the Vatican. Another obelisk in Rome is in the Piazza del Popolo. It was originally built in Heliopolis by Seti I to be 75 feet and 263 tons. Ramses II finished the construction and engravings on it. In 10 BCE, the obelisk was moved to the Circus Maximus to celebrate Augustus' conquest of Egypt. Sometime later, it collapsed and was rebuilt by Pope Sixtus V. Then, in 1589, it was moved to its current location in Piazza del Popolo. Samatikos II erected this obelisk at Heliopolis. Many of the inscriptions have eroded away, though a list of the king's many names still remains. It was also re-erected in Rome in 10 BCE to celebrate Augustus. It fell over in the 10th or 11th century and was re-erected at Monte Cittorio in the 18th century. Hatshepsut, a female king of Egypt, had four obelisks built at Karnak. This one, the only one still standing, is 97 feet tall and 323 tons. Ramses II built more obelisks than any other pharaoh. This is the one that stands in front of the Luxor Temple. It is 82 feet tall and 254 tons. Its counterpart was taken to Paris in the 18th century. The Washington Monument was built between 1848 and 1884. It was a tribute to George Washington's military leadership in the American Revolution. The construction took place in two major phases, from 1848 to 56, and from 1876 to 84. It weighs over 80,000 tons and stands over 555 feet tall. Cleopatra's Needle was originally built as a pair for the Temple of the Sun at Heliopolis. In 1461, it was built by Tutmos III. After the opening of the Suez Canal, Egypt gave it to the U.S. hoping to cultivate trade relations, and it now sits in Central Park. This Cleopatra's Needle was also built by Tutmos III for the Temple of the Sun in Heliopolis. It now lives in London, England, and is 69 feet tall and weighs 187 tons. The obelisk was once the entrance to Luxor Temple. The hieroglyphics portrayed the reigns of Ramses II and Ramses III. 